I'm not going to be a delivery driver. I want my mum to understand what it's like to have a job like mine. It's not reliable. You not you don't know when you're in, when you're needed, when you're going to be cut off. When I was younger, I had a cleaning job. I worked in a chip shop. The thing is, if you're given six hours and you work really well, then you're probably given 12 hours the next time. You know, what, what could be the worst thing? I'm willing to give it a go. So it's midnight delivery. So I'm reckoning it's going to be a proper late shift. When you're like me, like most people, you've got zero hour contracts. That means they can bring you in any time they want. So what we're doing is you're going to be delivering some orders the next three nights all across Liverpool. Right, OK. She's going to learn that it's actually a lot harder than what she thinks. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, bye. Rachel will probably be doing about four drops per hour, getting that four pounds a drop. Let's do this, Amiga. That's your milkshake. And then we've got pick and mix and cookie dough. How long did it take from the order to delivery? Oh, about 15 minutes. High five to me. <laughs> High five. High five. <laughs> it's completely unprofessional of me, but can I use your toilet? Yeah, sure, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Run, Rachel! Run! Right, round the corner and then up the road. It is stressful. People might think, oh, it's easy, you're just driving around delivering, but it's mentally challenging. There you go. Thanks a lot. Thank All right, you. see you later. Right, next one, here we go. Oh, no, I've got the wrong number. What an absolute utter dickhead! Fucking hell! <laughs> I can't believe I'm walking through the streets of Liverpool holding two milkshakes, freezing my boobs off. Well. Got a delivery, dessert. Is this number 34? Well, it's been paid for. Do you want to have it anyway? Nope. You don't want it? Nope. I'll find somebody to have it. All right, thank you. I didn't actually think that delivering desserts was going to be hard work. Oh, I'm up it alert. I didn't think it would stretch me. I didn't think I'd be challenged by it. I've spilt it. I was so wrong. Are you kidding me? Where's that £20 note gone? <laughs> That's it. I've had enough. Ugh! This is a joke. Oh, there's a quid. <laughs> One pound twenty. <laughs> you couldn't write this shit. You literally couldn't write it. Hi, Lydia. Hello, Rachel. <laughs> How was it? Well. I failed miserably. I think I was a bit too cocky going into it, thinking, oh, I've got this. Um, and in actual fact, in reality, it really wasn't as simple. Do I still get paid for that drop? No, if you, you take an order, it comes back and another driver has to take it and they get paid. <gasps> Seriously? It was nice to see my mum struggle with the shift. I kind of think because she was so confident at the start of it and thought everything would go so smoothly. Well, now she understands.